time everyone so it is a little bit late in the night but I really felt inspired to film this video I've been getting a lot of questions asking about which school I go to what is the zoo school why do you go to the zoo school is it on the zoo's campus where is it so I'm gonna answer all your guys's questions and I really hope that you guys enjoy this video so basically I go to the School of Environmental Studies it is um, right next to the Minnesota Zoo actually is on the zoo's campus and basically it is a two-year school so you go there as a junior or a senior or both and you are more inclined and in learning about the environmental systems such as uh, the Minnesota River systems the ponds in Minnesota and actually when you get there you do a pond profile and you learn about a different lake in Egan or I think one in Apple Valley, but I'm pretty sure you go to Egan. And you learn about, you know, pH and the dissolved oxygen, how algae affects the systems and everything else. And you do a report and you actually present it to the city of Egan and um, they take that information from your report and actually apply it to people that actually have the job that you go out there and report it to. They actually go to the people that do it and they take the information on how the lake is doing. So you're kind of already doing someone else's job and you go to school. So I think that's an awesome thing. And basically the way SCS is set up is you have house, which is your English, I think your English, science, and history classes all rolled up into one. Me personally, I'm in the blue house, so I have house first in the morning, and I usually meet in the centrum around 7.35, that's when the school starts, and in that Rose House and Gold House, I believe, has their electives first, so blue house and green house has house first, and um, Having house in the morning I think is a little bit easier because if you had a house in the afternoon it would be a little bit more hard because it's harder to focus once you're like if you're in the in early morning you're focusing on um, I'm used to having math early in the morning because at South I had math first hour so it kind of is nicer to have math as an elective around like 10 30 11 o'clock and um, it's, I'm actually more awake and inclined to learn. So house is everybody in the house. We have pods. So my pod is, I'm in pod one, and I we all have individual desks where we um, can decorate it. We can have lights, we can have pets there, we can have reptiles, and we also can customize it as a pod, which you can move your desk around and make it your own and make it comfortable for you and it's really really nice um, to be able to have a community inside the school that you go to and the teachers are amazing I love the teachers especially because I was in AP biology for a little while um, I'm not in it anymore because it, it was a lot of work and in-house you do get a, a quite a bit of homework but it is a, it is worth it um, and it's AP biology is hard in itself so I think I might actually rejoin it once I kind of get in the flow of how ICS works. It's really relaxing. It's a smaller school. Um, only, I think, 400 kids go there compared to, let's say, SES has 400 people. Lakeville South has, like, I think 3,000 people. So it's, it's definitely a change at school. It's really a lot more quieter. We have we don't have classrooms. The only cl class I have a classroom in is animal care and math and chemistry. I have three classes out of my whole entire day that I have classrooms in compared to all of my classrooms. And it kind of helped me with taking wildlife ecology at South, which is an amazing class taught by an amazing teacher. I miss you, Mr. Gilmer. You're awesome. Um, and I also had biology as well. So that also helped me learn it with the pol it also helped me with the pond profile and learning how to do water samples and it, it, it was nice to know that I had prior experience going to SES because when I applied to SES 
I knew what I was getting myself into, but I didn't know that it was so in depth that it how it is now. So it's definitely a change. It's more. It's it's just more freeing. I should say they treat you a lot more like an adult at SES. You feel like you have more freedom. You have more freedom to make choices, and I'm. Um, with house, so I'll talk about house, and then I'll talk about electives and intensive themes. You just feel more free at SES. You feel like you make your own choices and make your own time and do your assignments on your own, and they actually don't bug you about assignments as much as your regular home high school would. So, house is the uh, class where you have the most homework, in my opinion. You'll, I think I had um, chemistry do... I had a river graphic do. Um, what else do I have to do? Or what I had to do? And it, it's just a lot of work, but a lot of work goes into what you're actually learning. And it's just, it's a lot easier to manage, especially if you have a planner with you. So I'll actually show you my backpack. So I have my planner with me, this is my planner, and yeah, so this is my planner, and this is my journal. You'll actually be journaling a lot um, when you're at SES, especially in house, because you're learning a ton. Like, I think I've gotten quite a bit through my journal, and it's just a lot of... <laughs> A lot of journaling and a lot of learning about different ecosystems and invasive, invasive carp, um, headwaters fish. It's just a lot. So if you don't like writing, I don't think house would be for you. Um, it's it's a lot of writing. Definitely a lot of writing. So what else did I want to say? Um, now I'm going to talk about the electives at SES. So your electives are, let's say, um, you have a home high school class. So your home high school is like a regular high school. They call it a home high school. And it's, you would go to your elect, your first block elective. So let's say you have electives in the morning, you're in girls or gold house. You have blocks one and two. But if you have house in the morning, like I do, and you have electives in the afternoon, you go to box three and four. Kind of makes sense. Um, so my electives, since I need to finish my science classes and my algebra classes, I have algebra two on sky days, and I have chemistry on earth day. So we switch between those. Like if you went to Farmington, you had like, I think it was blue day or green day or whatever and you would have different classes on that day. So that's just like SES. And on Earth Days, we have, I have chemistry. And then on Sky Days, I have algebra two. So it's really depending on like which day it is, and you get a day to do homework assignments that you have to do like the next period. And then um, my second elective is animal care. This is the best class of my day, in my opinion. Um, Mr. Nord uh, <laughs> teaches this class, and he's really nice. I really like him. So, um, it's basically small animal care and management. This is actually my book I use for the class, and it's uh, it's a fun class. It's definitely hands-on with the animals. We have a bunch of animals from reptiles to birds to rabbits to chinchillas to um, pygmy hedgehogs. So it's definitely a hands-on class with animals if you're looking to get experience with animals and um, learn how they behave and like kind of get over your fear of different animals if you have a fear of snakes if you're spiders you know it's, it's a great class to get over that um, and they actually partner closely with the zoo so sometimes we'll go over to the zoo and learn about different like aquariums like we did the other day we met um, some of the aquarists and some of the life support staff which they're super sweet and super nice people so I always love going to the zoo and seeing people that I know um, from being a volunteer there and it's just 
it's really nice to be able to go somewhere that I'm familiar with um, because obviously I worked there for about three years now and it's just it's relaxing for me and it's nice to I don't know maybe <laughs> relax in a class that I love so much so I think I've touched upon how sin um, elective is enough so I think you guys would understand it now I'm going to talk about intensive theme um, I actually have not experienced intensive theme yet but a lot of the intensive themes that you're going to be taking are partnered really closely with the zoo because this actually, um, they actually this is why this school was built so my first intensive theme is marine biology my second one is wilderness aid and then my third one is scuba diving which I'm very excited about because I've always wanted to learn how to scuba dive and I'm very, very, very excited to learn how to scuba dive because it's always been one of my life dreams and I think when I, when and if I go to Australia, um, whether it be on my field study that I'm really looking forward to or if I live there one day, which I'm really hoping I will, um, straight out of high school I really want to go to the University of Queensland in Brisbane or St. Lucia. I think it's in St. Lucia, but it's, it's just like Brisbane. Um, I'm really hoping that my scuba diving, um, being certified, and also... Alright, my camera cut off for a little bit, but I was talking about uh, scuba diving and how it would help me be able to learn different things and be certified and everything like that when I work. Because I'm going to obviously be working closely and going on studies and different things, hopefully. Really, really optimistic. Um, but intensive themes are a great way for you to get a hands-on experience with different types of animals and it's just something that I've always wanted to do um, especially with marine biology it's just something that I've been passionate about I love marine life um, especially with the monk seals at the Minnesota Zoo I was there when they opened it and it's just a cool exhibit and I don't know it's just it's a very unique school. It's awesome. It's really fun. And if you want to apply, I would probably apply around now. I think the deadline is like December or something. So if you want to learn more about SES, that is something I didn't cover. If you have any questions, you can go to SESMN.org. I will link it down below. And I hope this was informational for you guys and it answered a lot of your questions. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me on Instagram, Twitter. Uh, Snapchat, anything like that. So I will see you guys in the next video. I'm planning to upload a couple more videos, um, like a day in the life at the SES and um, when I go to the zoo and just different types of videos that I feel like would be informational to you guys and different adventures that I go on. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.